My name is Nefeli Papadakis. I'm from Gurney, Illinois. I train in the Chicagoland area and I represent the United States in the minus 78 kilo weight class for judo. Let's go to Tokyo, let's go. I'm, I mean, I'm super excited. I'm obviously very hyped. Uh, it's like, you know, it's, it's my life dream has finally like happened. I mean, I haven't, obviously I'm not there yet. I'm home right now, but it's happening. So I'm super excited to get out there. I'm really looking forward to getting to compete in the birthplace of judo. Japan is where judo originated as a sport. So I'm really excited to compete there again. We actually had our world championships at that venue in 2019. So I have been where we're competing in the Budokan before, and I'm super excited to get to get out there for the Olympic games. The key for a great performance, I think, is to stay focused. The Olympics obviously are a huge media thing and, you know, everyone's lifelong dream that's going to there. So I think just me kind of honing in on just being in the zone for competition, knowing I'm there to compete, I'm there to win a medal, I'm there for business. Um, and I know it's a new environment for myself. I've never competed in Olympic Games before, but, you know, there's a lot of people like that that are also going to be there. So it's a big stage and it's just time to get it done. Um, actually, one of my favorite new Shackley products that I've been using a lot is the Meal in a Bar, the white chocolate cinnamon ones. They're my new favorite. Um, it's a great like post-workout snack, like between workouts when I only have an hour and don't want to eat, you know, a full meal because I, I can't just go to practice and work out right after that. They've been very essential for me. Um, I also really like the Build Plus protein powder. You know, it's been very much the same as before because the world championships for me were very make it or break it, even though they didn't go the way I would have loved them to. Um, it's a lot of two-a-days, but it's also making sure I listen to my body. Um, I've been pushing my body to like the max for the past three years or so, definitely the past two months training for the world championships. So, you know, I feel physically in shape. And I'm going to keep pushing through. It's only three more weeks, but I'm also trying to take care of myself, you know, um, doing the right stretches, doing yoga once a week, active recovery, because I can't, you can't just go, go, go and never take a second to rest your body. You know, that's how you get injured. So I'm just trying to really make sure that I'm staying as healthy as I can diet wise, mental health wise, exercise wise. So I'm trying to just keep a, keep a balance as well as I can. One motivational thing I would definitely like to say is that I think, you know, to reach your goals and your dreams, you just really have to push through and not stop. Um, pursuing the Olympics was not something that came in a year, a month, you know, it took my whole life. Yes, I'm only 22 years old, but it took a very long time to build the skills and make it to this point. And it did, you don't have to be from some huge name like training center or dojo or whatever sport you're doing. I'm from Gurney, Illinois, which is a small town. Uh, and you know, I did it. Anyone can do it. You just have to keep, keep going. Just keep pushing. Thank you, Shackley family. Go Shackley, go USA, and let's get it in Tokyo.